King spotter for I am on the verge of betting money on saying this race is going to be the first boring race of the year. Richmond hasn't been good since 2010. I don't have high hopes for this race. Well, I, it's been good occasionally, but it hasn't been consistently good since 2010. I don't know. Maybe this car will change things, though. That Kyle Busch car, man. That's nice looking. Mostly because it has that greatest shade of blue that ever existed. Uh oh, Kurt Busch. So he's cycling the the ECU right there. So this is going to be a yellow. Probably. Probably trying to see if he has any fuel in it. That's probably. We should get up to the high side. <laughs> that would be a smart choice. Oh, he just gets off. Okay, he's smart. Come on. Come on, Kurt. Get back around at least. Shouldn't be. Not at this point. I don't think he's going to make it around. Yeah, we're probably going to get a yellow. Blaney with brake issues brings back Nashville PTSD. Oh God! Yeah, I could see someone going full send into turn one against their will because the car won't break because a rotor broke or something. I see something of that sort happening. Over a, the, a quarter, the, 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 over a quarter of the race later, I'm back and I am. My eyes are closing slowly. I'm like half asleep now. This. Excuse me, Chris oh. Bell. What? Something? Suarez trying to get a lap back from him. Suarez is on much fresher tires. And look what happened. So. Oh, they were like three wide. Yeah. Not a lot of room when you three wide. Oh, well. Come on, Bell. Hang on here. I don't want Truex winning a stage. And we're gonna have a lead change right here. Mark He's like me, he whines too much about absolutely Truex everything. And he's not funny about it like Kyle Busch. That's the big issue. He whines about everything and he's not funny about it. I appreciate Fox Sports upping their broadcast on the worst race of the year and maybe the worst race of the last two years. Oh, is Chase making a pass or is he getting past? He better be making a pass. I don't... Who's running so well? And that's exactly... Oh yeah, that's right. Next Saturday into Sunday, I'm going to have the most painful night ever. At least there's a Martinsville race. It's a night race. But then once that's over, I have to keep myself awake for two hours until F1 because I am watching the Australian GP next week live. I don't care. I'm staying up for it. I'll, I'll survive if it's a good race, which it should be, because F1 rarely fails to ups or rarely fails to disappoint, or not fail to disappoint, fail to wait. What am I trying to say here? F1's rarely bad. I I could have worded that so much easier. Oh yeah, Talladega's in. Three weeks, 21 days, 21 days until the chaos begins. Four wide at Richmond. That doesn't belong. Dig is in two weeks or three weeks. Just way Kyle Bush. Kyle won't get off of Blaney. I don't think he could, to be honest. Could be that cost you were talking about. Well, this is this is a good restart, to say the least, for Richmond. Yeah, can we see the battle at the back? I don't think anyone cares about the leaders right now. Apparently, they're three wide out back. Second, and up the hill goes Chastain. He had a little help from Blaney oh. as 
as Kyle Busch and Blaney move ahead of Chastain. That's for Ford. There's things happening, but there's not enough cameras to see it. Whoa. God, now this race is good for a bit. Come on, Chase, follow Chastain through. I think Chase was better the longer the run was. How much we get a ca how much you want to bet we get a caution when the one catches back up to the twelve? Car in the wall. Who? Oh, Cody. It's a Rick Ware racing moment. They're, they're slowly returning. You know, they had a great start to 2022, but we are slowly, slowly easing back into the every week Rick Ware racing moment. Right now, we're, I think we're at, what, this is the first time in two weeks. Yeah, we're once every other week now. Oh, he, he ran into Stenhouse. Stenhouse here. Where was racing with sure Stenhouse? It's <laughs> a good day for Cody Ware. If that's Bush the case. He what? Oh, he got turned. It wasn't a Rick Ware moment. It was Eric Jones. For once, it wasn't a Rick Ware moment. It was just... He got turned. Not his fault. I guess Atlanta wasn't even either, but... Oh, Spindrick. Oh, Custer. Oh, God. Here we go. First half was boring. Second half, we're not going to get five more laps of green flag racing in for the rest of the day. The Richard Teddy teammates just double teamed Custer and wrecked Sindrick as a result. I think Ag Jones bumped Custer and that's what started that. So Jones has officially started still every wreck so far today. What the hell is happening to Chase? Why is he 18th now? But we still need this this late race caution right Atlanta's the only race I believe that it hasn't had a caution inside of five to go well, damn the strategy kind of got this race getting a little bit interesting I mean the racing is boring but the anticipation as to who's gonna have the better strategy kind of kind of making the finish to this thing interesting not gonna lie I I'm intrigued and God, do I hope that the two-stop is the strategy here. I've lost all hope. Truex has the winning strategy. No one's going to catch him. I mean, all of this boredom and we don't even get an exciting winner. We get pretty much the complete opposite. Ugh. Oh, Kyle Busch's race is screwed. Didn't this happen last fall at Richmond for completely different reasons? His race was screwed. I think it was a penalty of some sort on pit road last year in the fall. He's screwed. His race, it's killed. The worst part about all of this is the fact that there's no caution for this. Caution now would be great. Kyle Busch just started pit stops. Oh, wow. <laughs> is it possible for Byron to stay out these next 40 laps without pitting? I don't know when he pit, but I think it was with like 90 to go. Fuel can make it. The tires blow. Oh well. Truex is pitting. But now he's not. If he was going to. If my math is correct, the current pace will allow Truex to catch Byron in about 30 laps time, which is like 10 to go or something like that. And I think Byron's going to stay out here. But it's a short track. So if Byron gets caught and Truex 
passes him, Byron can shove him because it's a short track, right? You're allowed to do that on a short track. Here's a dream situation. Chase isn't going to win, so at this point I am just rooting for a good finish, not one by Truex. What I want... Truex catches Byron. Okay, dream scenario here. Truex catches Byron. They race real aggressively. They wreck. Caution comes out. Race restart. Crazy restart. Race solved. Problem fixed. Good finish. James Small on that radio, his voice sounded so much like Dan Weldon right there. It kind of had like, not a squeak, but like a high pitch sort of feel to it. It was eerily similar. Oh my god, Larson is fastest. We did, we did all, at least it's not a Truex one, but all of this for a Larson win. He always finds a way. This season has been terrible for him. He's literally the worst of the Hendrick cars right now. And it's not close. And he's going to end up winning because, you know, he recovers. He's just... Kyle Larson's a legend. Truex is not going to get there. It's just not. It doesn't have the pace anymore. That's four tenths in one lap for Martin Truex. I'm hearing Hamlin from 14 seconds back is closing in by nine tenths a lap, which is on pace to win. But of course there's fall off, so that'll never happen. Yeah, Hamlin's only 10 seconds back now. <laughs> It's like two laps later. He was, I think, 13 back when I said that, so. Oh, God, this is not over yet. He, it's nine seconds now. It's been a lot. Okay. Denny Hamlin might win this race. This race is exciting now. Truex only a second and a half back as well. <laughs> The boring race is even becoming interesting in the end. Dude, the strategy. Fix this race. Chase is back on the lead lap. Give us a caution now. Get him back in the race. Do a crazy move. Have him win. Simple as that. <laughs> He's 16th. That's never going to happen. But I, I don't want a caution anymore. This is too good, honestly. I mean, a caution, I, I wouldn't hate it. But this is... We don't need it this week. That super late average last lap of the final caution this year is going to be absolutely ruined because this run has been 150 laps or something like that. Denny's two and a half seconds back. He's going to win this race. Oh my god, my chair. The wheel is broken, so I keep leaning forward because the wheel is broken. Oh god, this is going to get interesting. Truex is going to move him quickly, trying to get ahead, and then Hamlin's going to catch Truex and, like, teammate kerfufflery. Oh, my God. Denny's up in a second. He's less than a second back. He was 14 seconds back 15 laps ago. This is some of the most stunning pace I've ever seen. <laughs> On a short track, 14 seconds in like 15 laps that is insane here comes hard oh god this is going to be real good even if hamlin takes the lead this thing might be good because he got harvick <laughs> oh this one's over yep the toy order it's gonna win come on harvick get up there make this thing good I'd prefer a Hamlin win over a Harvick win just because, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of Harvick, and he's on a long, long winless streak. Lap cars, lap cars. There goes the 30-year-old streak, the, the sub-30-year-old winners. 
Here's here's the thing. They could collide. Oh, Harvick's there. Get ready. This final lap going to be crazy. <laughs> lap traffic made India, Texas a great finish. It's going to make Richmond hopefully a great finish. Come on, Almirola. I'm begging. Please make this good. No. No, Almirola, you ruined this race. Damn. How did Denny win this race? I am still clueless as to what just happened. If only Chase still had that speed from earlier. How did that happen? Great strategy, great play right there. For a guy that said he had a 15th place car this morning when we spoke to him on the red carpet, I think he just showed a different that, face. That that's car. crazy. Was it Hamlin who told you you can't win the Kentucky Derby on a three-legged mule? <laughs> that's right. And here he is. Well, somehow he turned a third These cars sound like they're electric. It's been since Daytona since I've been thinking of the right word to describe the engines, and they sound like half electric. Electric in racing is a word that I fear. Wow, that was crazy. Next week's Martinsville after the first average race of the year. I hope Martinsville is an average. It should be anything but average, but you never know. And to 